traveling. She's reporting in from Jordan right now. Martha, what have you learned? The strikes have begun, as you said, David, and they are tonight concentrating on Syria. All of the strikes thus far have been in Syria. That's what you and I have been talking about all week, David, that we thought it was Syria where they would focus. Now, the drone that struck this remote base uh, in Jordan was launched, according to U.S. officials, U.S. officials from Iraq. We do expect there will be strikes in Iraq, but that hasn't happened yet as far as we know. So what they are going after in Syria are certainly the militants, the Iranian-backed militants, but also Iranian assets, the Iranian Revolutionary Guard assets there. They don't want to strike Iran itself, but they want a significant and substantial hit on these militants. They want these attacks to stop. There have been more than 165 attacks on American forces in Iraq and Syria. And of course, as you know, David, there have been many, many attacks in the Red Sea from Yemen as well. And that is also a possibility that they will strike Yemen. We will see this over several days. Uh, there are people who are concerned this could escalate the conflict, but others, and clearly this is the, the decision that, that uh, President Biden made. He believes this will send a strong message to the militants and be a deterrent. Thus far, they have not been deterred, but this is supposed to be very different from the previous strikes. It is a real show of force, they say. Martha Raddatz reporting from Amman for us. Martha, thank you. I want to bring in Mary Bruce, our chief White House correspondent. Mary, what do we know about uh, the source of these strikes at this hour, whether or not the U.S. is acting alone, whether or not we have allies in this, and whether or not these initial strikes are actually directly from the U.S.? Well, David, I have been told that these reports are actually not U.S. military and not directly related to our response. We are getting some conflicting reports here. What we do know, though, is that the U.S. has been considering this massive show of force, as Martha was saying, that this is a decision the president has been weighing extremely carefully. Uh, we know he has had some deep misgivings about actually striking directly inside Iran, despite facing tremendous pressure to do just that. Because, of course, the president here is trying to weigh how to make sure that this response is forceful, that this response is different, obviously, because, as the White House has said, this is a fundamentally different situation, given the fact that you have three U.S. service members who have died, more than 40, who were wounded in that strike in Amman. How to send a strong message to finally stop these relentless attacks by Iranian-backed militants without starting another wider war. And that has been the issue that the president is weighing most heavily. And that is the big X factor here, David, whether these strikes are going to be different enough to send that message loud and clear. But so far, the Biden administration not giving any indication that the U.S. part of any retaliation is, in fact, officially underway. Correct, David. We are waiting for any official response from the White House at this hour, David. All right. We await official word from the White House on what will be playing out in the hours, perhaps days ahead. Mary Bruce live at the White House. Our coverage will continue ABC News Live. And of course, we'll have a complete report coming up a little later on World News Tonight. I'm David Muir. Good day. This has been a special report from ABC News.